Hi there, it's Kaya from Kaichka Crafts and today I will show you an elegant card without stamping. So we will actually use just die cuts and watercolors. I will start by preparing my background. So I decided that I will make a watercolor ombre and for this I will be using a lot of water. So I will tape down my paper first so I prevent some warping. Then I will put some Distress ink, this is Dusty Concord color, and I will put it on the packaging. Then I will just use a lot of clear water to wet my paper to allow the color to flow more naturally. You can see that I will be doing this coloring quite quickly, because I think that it's important that you are having your paper wet at all times. So I will go with the ombre, so I will have the darkest color at the top and the lightest in the bottom. I will heat set it here in the middle and then I will do it all again because I wanted to have my colors a bit darker. I will wet the paper again and as you can see I'm only making the lines horizontally. That's because I know that some lines of this brush will still show and I want them all to be in the same direction. I actually like those lines so I will just make sure they are all in the same direction. So I will do the same here on the second layer and you can see that it's a bit darker and that's the colors I was going for. So once I am happy I will heat set it again and then I will use my paper trimmer to cut it down in the perfect size for my card base. I will be using a square card so I will take a piece of white cardstock that is slightly smaller and die cut a heart out of it. We will later put these die cut leaves on there so I will die cut a bunch but before I do the bluing I will first make the sentiment. I decided to go with congratulations and I wanted to have the purple shadow that will match perfectly so I will just use the same distress ink color so dusty concord and I will just slightly put it on my watercolor paper. I will then die cut the shadow as set in purple and the sentiment will be in white. I love how delicate this is. I will be using my liquid glue that I have in my syringe here because for me it's the easiest way to put little dots of glue where I want them. So I will put it down and then I will put an acrylic block on top so the sentiment doesn't move. I made an aquarelle background because I want the colors to match perfectly and this was just the easiest way to do so. So I will glue the sentiment down and then I will start gluing these leaves. I won't really think ahead so it will be actually a random pattern. So I am using two shapes of leaves and then these stems that are I believe three different sizes. So I will just make sure that it will fit and that it will look okay once I'm finished. And you can see that the middle is quite empty, so I will use some leaves and put them on a stem. So they have this long stem. So this will help bring the leaves to the middle. But if you like it, you can leave it blank. But I just felt that I need something there. So I will put these leaves there and that will finish our heart and we can start positioning. I will take my double sided glue and I will put quite a lot of it on my background panel and I will glue it down and I will make sure I press it down hard so it stays where it should be. Then I will use these foam rectangles since I want some dimension and this is perfect. You can see that I also put the foam behind the leaves so they will be also popped up. So you can see that I put the darker shade on top and then the ombre goes towards the bottom. 
I love it already, but you know, I can't make a card without a sentiment, so we will use that congratulations. And in some places I will even put two layers of foam, because I wanted everything straight. So this looks gorgeous already, but I just felt I need something extra and sparkly. So I pulled out this honeybee clear sequence and I will put them randomly. I will again use my multimedia mat in my syringe to glue everything down because it dries clear and this will actually finish this card. Thank you so much for watching, hope that you will try to make this fun card without stamping and hope to see you soon. Bye bye!